Hey, good afternoon. This is Teresa MacDonald with Allen Tate Realtors, and I am just going to update you guys on a few rezoning petitions in the Derrida area. These are rezoning petitions that we are following, and I just wanted to give you some more information about them. The first one I'm looking at is rezoning petition 2022-110. This was a filing to propose a change of use. The location is at Millhaven and Sunset Road and 77 is over here in the west of this site. It is an existing location of two motels and the proposal is to convert them to housing, multifamily housing. Uh, there is not much progress been made on this proposal so do not have an update right now of where it's going exactly but we will keep an eye and and let you know it does seem just on the face of it to be a better use of the land right there to provide housing as opposed to motels but there's there's lots more to discuss around that proposal. So we will keep an eye on any meetings or presentations that are upcoming on that proposal. Nothing so far has been filed since it was um, first petitioned in 2022. So not exactly sure of the status, but we'll keep you posted. The next site that we are looking at is 2022-205. This is at Mallard Creek. It's on Mallard Creek Road where Hubbard comes in. Hubbard is approximately here. And there is construction already underway in that location because this larger site, all these townhomes were that rezoning was approved previously. This new rezoning is an updated site plan to add a couple more buildings right here um, because another parcel was added. Um, so that is approved as well. And we will see construction continue over there. D.R. Horton is the builder. And these are townhomes in this location. The developer is adding benefits for the community, which include a big multipurpose pathway along Mallet Creek, as well as some improvements along Penninger and of course they're adding these new roads and new connections potentially um, in the area. So that one is approved and those townhomes will start to become available for sale um, in the near future. The next one we're looking at is at WT Harris and Old Statesville Road right on the corner. Um, it's basically a vacant parcel, wooded, and a bit of a nuisance in terms of lack of maintenance and homeless encampments popping up here and there. So uh, the proposal is to develop this into uh, apartments. There is already uh, some apartments approved and, and under construction. You you can see them if you drive along Old Statesville Road. You'll see them just before you come to the intersection with Harris Boulevard. Um, very well served by public transit on on Old Statesville Road. Um, so, but pending a few pedestrian crossings and etc. This this is a reasonable site for apartments. Um, you've got just down the road, Davis Lake, which has grocery stores, etc. And just across the way here, eventually the Griffith Lakes 
commercial portion will take shape and probably see more grocery stores and other services in that area. So that one is underway and we will keep an eye out for any further movement on that. This next one is off Statesville Road and Millhaven. Millhaven comes off Statesville Road here. This is all existing single family. And this is a parcel in the middle, a fairly large parcel, about 11 acres, uh, proposed for townhomes. The public meeting has been held and uh, it is going through the process, the zoning committee and um, the public hearing, etc. will will come for this parcel. Again, looking for townhomes in a mixture of three unit buildings and four unit buildings and a connection, a new connection to Meadow Knoll Drive over here this existing community that comes off of Cindy Lane. So we'll be following that one. This one is very similar to the previous one in that it is a fairly large parcel that exists in the heart of an existing community. In this case, it's in the heart of Allen Hills which is a single family community that was built. Um, a lot of the original homes were built in the 50s and 60s, and there's been infill along the way. For instance, these homes here around this little cul-de-sac were added in the late 90s. Um, a newer home over here was added even later than that, probably 2004 or so. Um, there is an existing parcel here that is undeveloped, a seven acre parcel that were, was previously approved for townhomes. So that is a little bit ahead in the process, um, but will be connected via these new roads. Uh, so this is in the heart of Allen Hills. It's almost 25 acres. There is a beautiful pond. It's It's a beautiful piece of property with a lot of natural beauty, a lot of tall, mature trees, most of which will be undisturbed um, as they're around these areas where there is more um, sort of wetlands and creek beds, etc. So the trees will remain in those areas and across the side of the pond. Um, and this area is pretty much clear today. There may be one or two trees that will have to be taken down. Um, calling for a townhome with a mixture of two unit buildings, three unit buildings, four unit buildings, a new roadway um, here and landscape buffer between the existing neighborhood and the townhomes. This is the site proposed for possible future dumpster and recycling. Uh, the city requires that to be set aside at this point, but um, right now the plan is for individual garbage collection with, with rollouts, um, the same way we, we have in the rest of Allen Hills. Uh, right now, the city ha is not super happy with the site plan as currently presented, and they have asked for a few things to be done, like possibly re relocate this future dumpster site to something that is not so close to the existing neighborhood, um, and also better connections to the existing neighborhoods so that it does not become a kind of private enclave. Um, so still having conversations with the developer and the city staff and the community members 
um, the developer has so far been very friendly and accommodating and open to suggestions. And uh, we'll we'll continue to work on that till we have a site that that everybody is pretty much happy with. So we'll keep an eye on that one. That's twenty twenty three zero one one. The next stage is for the public hearing in front of city council and i do not believe that vote that time has been decided that we'll keep you posted if when we know that that date and just including for detail this is the adjacent site to that previous site i was just mentioning um so this is the previously approved on this parcel, which is seven acres. And this is slightly different because it does add to the grid of Allen Hills with this new connection between Citadel and Oneida. And it also creates a new road um, that will also exit on Citadel. So um, also townhomes, and these areas here pretty much will be untouched um, along this creek bed. This one is already approved. The developer has also committed to landscaping here along Oneida as well as Citadel, sidewalk, trees, um, curb and gutter, and um, also some traffic calming. There, there was some concerns raised by Cardinal Glen neighborhood about traffic, and I believe they were going to add a stop sign. So that that one is already approved, and it, the sale hasn't closed, so um, we don't know when to expect construction to begin, but we'll let you know that's it for rezonings thank you very much